Mayor Todd Gloria announces a plan to create San Diego's largest homeless shelter. Yeah, and he, of course, he joins us now to talk all about it this morning. Todd, good to see you. Good morning. Let's break it down. What does this mean for San Diego? Where exactly is it? Pretty big news, though. Uh, yeah, it is big news. It would be, as you mentioned, the largest homeless shelter in our city. A thousand beds located at the intersection of Kettner and Vine. Uh, this is a location that all of us have seen a million times over but never really paid attention to. Uh, when you exit the 5 South to go to the airport, as soon as you get off that off ramp, there is an old printing press that is just to your right hand side. It has been there forever and ever. It has been vacant for some time. And while it doesn't look like much from the street level, it's a one story building, uh, what it is is a 65,000 square foot building uh, that we believe we can convert into over a thousand shelter beds uh, for people who are currently experiencing homelessness. Uh, this is, I think, an exciting opportunity uh, for magnitude of scale. Uh, we have about uh, 5,000 homeless people in our city. About half of them are currently sheltered, half are unsheltered. So that's about 2,500 people adding a thousand new beds, along with 200 additional safe parking lot spaces that we also announced yesterday. You could see how this could be uh, quite impactful in reducing the number of people who are currently unhoused. So does this replace, because there was a very the controversial proposal over yeah. near uh, Harbor Island to open up a shelter there, uh, I think it was an old barracks. Correct. So does this replace that proposal? Not exactly. So we're still moving forward with H barracks, but we've been undecided on what we were going to use that site for other than identifying it as a city owned site that's not currently being used for anything. It will turn into a wastewater treatment facility in about five years time. But in the meantime, in the middle of this crisis of homelessness, let's put it to better use. Because Kettner and Vine can provide us the opportunity to have those 1,000 beds, what I'm proposing is taking the H Barrick site and turn it into a, a 200 uh, person, a 200 car safe parking lot. Uh, we have a safe parking program in the city of San Diego with locations in Kearney Mesa, Mission Valley, uh, over in Bay Park wildly successful. These are for folks who are homeless but have their cars. It's a place for them to be safe off the streets, connected to services. Uh, H Barracks can now serve that purpose and will help us to not only get more people into care, but also allow us to enforce our city's vehicle habitation uh, ordinance, uh, which uh, prohibits that in the city uh, when we have sh uh, parking spaces available. I mean, as we know, we have multiple shelters obviously here in San Diego. Now we'll have another one. How do we get though people into these shelters who really oppose even going? Yeah, it's, it's a tough question, Eric, and I'm glad that you asked it. I think it starts with me making sure that there is enough beds for anyone who raises their hand and wants help to get help. And sometimes we struggle with that. Our shelters are very well occupied. Uh, we're running a very low barrier system. You want to bring your partner, your pet. Uh, we have diversified our portfolio. In the three plus years that I've been mayor, we have doubled the amount of shelter offerings that we have in the city of San Diego while simultaneously diversifying our portfolio so that we have congregate and non-congregate options. We have senior only shelters, women only shelters, LGBTQ youth, domestic violence survivors, the list goes on and on. The goal for that, Eric, is to make sure that whatever reason you found yourself to be homeless, if we can give you an option that works for you, that you say yes and we get you off the streets. Of course, you know we recently passed our unsafe camping ordinance right. that says that it is not acceptable to encamp in certain locations in our city and even when shelter may not be available, uh, that we're going to say no, not in our parks, not near our schools. So this is obviously short term I mean, goals, I guess, in, mm -hmm. in terms of homelessness. What about long term? Do you, are there what other care services will it offer? Thank you for asking. Yeah, so Kettner and Vine is vision to be a long-term solution. We are anticipating leasing this site for 45 years. So that's a long-term commitment uh, to making sure that we have services available for those who are willing to take them. Uh, in addition, this is not just beds. Uh, we expect to have a full complement of services in addition to security and all the things that you'd expect, but definitely food, laundry, wraparound services, case management, housing navigation, the stuff that allows people to end their homelessness for good. Let's be clear, shelter is not the end point. Right. Shelter is a way to get someone off the street today to address the underlying causes of their homelessness and then connect them to housing. Last year in the city of San Diego, we did that for thousands of unsheltered individuals. Our current problem, though, is that for all the people who are getting out of homelessness, more people are ending up on the streets because of the high cost of housing okay. in our city. Mm. Well, I guess we have to start somewhere, right? Mm. Uh, and then, Todd, when is uh, construction, I guess, slated to be finished, I guess, the opening of the shelter? So first things first, I have to get the city council's approval for this. The council has been wonderful. As I mentioned, when we doubled our number of shelter offerings, in the city. This is with the consent of our city council. We need their support as well. This will go before a council committee uh, later this month and then hopefully to full council uh, shortly thereafter. To your question, uh, the building that needs a little TLC, mm -hmm. um, but our hope is to open it in early 2025 um, and, and get, on, get on with it. We have to take care of this issue the way that it is, which is the biggest crisis facing our city. 
All right, Mayor Todd Gloria. I mean, this is it, homelessness has become such a huge problem in San Diego. So I know that uh, we're all trying to figure out like how to fix this. We're starting here. Absolutely, we're yes. starting here. Little steps. Okay. Pass the steps. homeless, fix the roads. Yes. I understand. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, Mayor. Thank you.